start out by sanding the edges of a wooden tag just to smooth them down a tad. After that, we're going to apply strips of masking tape over the tag, rolling them around the edges so that we effectively create a kind of a mosaic looking hodgepodge of tape strips. So you don't have to worry about specific shapes and sizes, just cover what is exposed. When you apply some of the strips, using your opposing thumb, hold down the strip with your opposing thumb, twist and turn slightly to create a little bit of a crease, and then move it around, up and down, around the edges of your tag. This will create a more realistic leather fold for you. If you find that any of the edges do pull up a little bit, because we all have oils on our hands, just tear off another little strip of tape and place it over those edges to secure it onto the tag. Once you are done applying the tape to the tag, you will take a high-tech poking tool of some sort and just poke the hole through the tape that, you, that has covered over the hole of the tag. The next step is inking and getting those cool leather effects. We're using a blue, which is the midnight blue, and we're using a green, which is the Irish green. We're going to apply those in spots, direct to paper, blend the color on the tag, and you'll see that it gives you a tone rather than a heavy ink application. Use your heat tool two inches above the piece, moving it continually as you are drying it. When you start to smell a scorching smell, don't go that far. The next step will be to apply another color. You take this, the saddle brown, and again, direct to paper, apply it in certain spots. Use your stylus tool and blend again. And what you're going to start seeing is you're going to start seeing a more of a leather color appearing. Dry again in between this step. You can apply more of this saddle brown if you feel that you didn't get enough the first time or move on to the mudslide, which is yet a deeper brown. But with the mudslide, only apply it in spots. Don't apply it along the entire surface. And you can apply this with your stylus tool because that way you have the control of where you're going to apply it and you can smooth the edges out, dry it again, and then reverse it, the process for the other side. If you choose, you can also change up a little bit of the proportion or the order in which you're applying your ink so that your reverse side will have a little bit different look dry as before. We'll repeat this same process on the circle and on the heart, but you only need to cover one side and the edges of the heart and the circle because those will be attached on the reverse side to the tag when you are finished. Apply the Irish green to the circle and apply the fireberry to the heart. Then add a little bit of the wicked black using your art dauber and blend the black ink around the edges of your heart in your circle. Dry again and attach to your tag. You can cut out words of your choice and glue them onto the heart. On the green circle, you're going to take your stamp, ink it with the mudslide, press it onto the green circle, and immediately wipe the ink off with the paper towel. And you'll see a slight ghosting effect instead of the dark brown that you were probably expecting to see, because that's usually the way it turns out when you use ink and you stamp an image. Enjoy using this faux leather technique on lots of different surfaces and projects. And remember, the inky magic is in clear snap.